Street legal, track ready, supercar power with Mustang soul. That's how Ford introduces its latest creation, the 2025 Mustang GTD. But to a classic car lover, is it a car that will make you feel the thrill of driving, the joy of owning, and the pride of belonging? This 2025 Mustang GTD is a limited run, road legal version of the GT3 race car that Ford developed to compete in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship and at the 24 Hours in Le Mans. It's expected to go on sale in late 2024 or early 2025 at a starting price of about $300,000. Ford announced it'll use an application process and a concierge service to select the buyers. The car is designed to challenge the best supercars from Europe, such as Porsche, Mercedes AMG, and Aston Martin. Ford CEO Jim Farley has even issued a challenge to other auto bosses to race him in their best road cars. This says it all. The hype is real. Or is it? Imagine the year 1965. Ford just launched its first pony car, the iconic Mustang, and the world of automobiles is on the brink of a revolution. The Mustang was an instant sensation, capturing the essence of American muscle and style. Gasoline was cheap, and the open road beckoned with promises of adventure. Chrome-laden tail fins were still a common sight, and car designs exuded a sense of artistic elegance. It was a time when you could cruise down Main Street with the radio blaring and your hand resting on the steering wheel of a classic American car. Each turn of the key was an invitation to explore the unknown, and the roar of a V8 engine was a soundtrack to a generation of dreamers and road trippers. These memories of chrome, horsepower, and endless highways still evoke a powerful sense of automotive nostalgia. Fast forward six decades into the future, and behold, the 2025 Mustang GTD. Ford, in a bold move, has declared that only a thousand of these limited edition beasts will grace the world's roads. A proclamation that has ignited a feverish curiosity and excitement among automotive enthusiasts and collectors alike, because this new iteration of the Mustang promises to be nothing short of legendary. While the world has witnessed a whirlwind of change, from the days when the Beatles released their album Help in 1965, to the eminent prospect of SpaceX Starship embarking on its journey to Mars in 2025, one thing remains constant the enduring legacy of the Mustang. It's as if Ford's iconic muscle car exists in a timeless continuum, bridging gaps between eras and uniting generations of passionate drivers. Technology has evolved at an astonishing pace, and performance benchmarks have soared to unimaginable heights since the original Mustang graced the scene. Yet beneath the high-tech exterior and the futuristic innovations, What's the thread that connects it to its vintage roots of the iconic pony car? Well, for starters, its sleek aerodynamic lines echo the classic design that made the Mustang an instant icon. The throaty roar of its powerful engine evokes the same sense of excitement and freedom that enchanted enthusiasts decades ago. Yet its state-of-the-art hybrid drivetrain reflects the commitment to sustainability and performance excellence that defines the 21st century. It's a marriage of the best of two worlds, a bridge between the past and the future that is uniquely Mustang. The limited production of the 2025 Mustang GTD ensures that only a select few will have the privilege of owning and experiencing this machine. The Mustang GTD comes with a V8 engine under the hood, just like the first pony car. Although the GTDs is supercharged and much more powerful than the 1965s, which I'll get into in a bit. Both of these vehicles share a common trait in their fastback body style, contributing to an aesthetically pleasing and sporty visual appeal. Furthermore, they both incorporate classic design elements associated with the iconic Mustang, exemplified by their elongated front hoods and abbreviated rear decks. The rear of the GTD has a tri-bar tailgate design, which is a signature Mustang feature that dates back to the 1960s, and of course, both of these beasts have the horse logo of the front grille, symbolizing the Mustang spirit, identity, and its legacy. That being said, the Mustang 2025 GTD 
and the Mustang 1965 might be different in many ways, but they also share a few common features confirming the same legendary lineage and inspiration from its roots. As you lay your eyes on the Mustang GTD, the first thing that strikes you is its wide stance, a visual statement of power and agility. The track is four inches wider than the Mustang GTs, but it's not just for show. Extensive use of carbon fiber body panels make it lightweight, which in turn lowers the center of gravity and vastly improves its responsiveness. But the big question, what's under the hood? The 2025 Ford Mustang GTD features a 5.2-liter supercharged V8, a more powerful version of the engine in the GT500 with a dry sump oil system, just like the one in race cars, and it's matted to an 8-speed dual-clutch rear transaxle gearbox controlled via paddle shifters. Horsepower will be more than 800, and the engine's redline exceeds a whopping 7,500 RPM. The V8's output far exceeds the Dark Horse's 5.0-liter Coyote V8, which makes 500 horsepower and 418 pounds of torque, and it also easily outguns the GT3 race car, which punches out its naturally aspirated V8 to 5.4 liters for durability. Jim Bombeck, Ford's Vice President for Product Development Operations and Quality, says the supercharged 5.2-liter is the right engine for the GTD based on weight, packaging, efficiency, and performance. The decision to go with supercharging was settled on quickly in the development process. Another biggie on the wish list of regulatory no-nos is variable traction control. When in track mode, this allows the driver to adjust the degree to which the system can modulate engine output and traction control intuitiveness to match the changing track conditions with driver capabilities, and this can all be done with hands remaining on the wheel. Coming towards the exterior, the Mustang GTD's carbon fiber body isn't just for looks. Every line, every curve is optimized to exploit the air, ensuring maximum performance in every aspect of driving. Unlike the traditional constraints imposed on racers, Drivers of these street-legal cars can enjoy the freedom to customize their front and rear downforce levels according to their preferences and the specific demands of the race course. The innovation that sets these cars apart lies in their ability to dynamically adjust their aerodynamic features, offering a remarkable advantage on the track. At the front of the vehicle, a set of hydraulically controlled flaps collaborate seamlessly with a comprehensive array of underbody aerodynamic panels working together to generate desired levels of front downforce. This dynamic system enables drivers to maximize downforce during intense cornering, enhancing their grip and stability, ultimately helping them maintain control even when pushing the limits of speed and precision. Turning attention to the rear of the car, another remarkable feature comes into play. Here, an upper flap takes center stage, allowing drivers to make rapid adjustments that can make all the difference in the race. In a matter of milliseconds, this clever mechanism can be re-aimed to switch between two critical settings, maximum downforce for superior traction and control during tight turns, or minimum drag for those straight-line speed bursts down the track's longest straights. This adaptability grants drivers an invaluable edge as they navigate the complex blend of corners and straights that define the modern racetrack. But beyond the dynamic control of flaps, the car's suspension system adds yet another layer of finesse. The stock car's pedestrian struts are long gone, replaced by an unequal length control arm setup. Also gone are the race car's fixed ride height and spring rates. Freed from those pesky racing regulations, the engineers were at liberty to develop their dream performance setup. The most sophisticated coilover shock units we've known of late consists of a Multimatic DSSV spool valve damper with full electric control wrapped in not one, but two coil springs. The upper one features a higher rate that's optimized for track work. The lower one is shorter with fewer coils and a comfort-oriented rate. In normal mode, these springs work together in series, providing added compliance. Press the track button, however, and in addition to firming up the spool valve shocks, a hydraulic system compresses the comfort spring, effectively deactivating it. This lowers the suspension by 40 millimeters, increasing the effective ride and roll rates 
and by reducing the frontal area, adds 15 to 20 miles an hour to the top speed. The car's engineering team also accomplished a challenging feat of relocating the transmission from its original position behind the front-mounted engine to the rear of the vehicle. This adjustment is aimed to achieve a balanced weight distribution of 50-50 between the front and rear, enhancing torque delivery and overall performance. Larry Holt, the Executive Vice President of Multimatic Special Vehicle Operations and known as the visionary behind the car, played a pivotal role in solving the puzzle of moving the gearbox to the rear, a task Ford's team worked closely with him to achieve. Next, let's take a look at this horse's shoes. The Mustang GTD rides with 325mm wide tires in front with 345mm rubbers in the rear. Standard wheels are 20-inch forged aluminum, but optional magnesium wheels help shave weight while helping maintain the GT3 race car look with their design. Unlike the race car, these wheels are five lug instead of center locking, but the racing spirit remains very much alive as the wheels are wrapped in sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires. They not only provide the capability you need for high-performance driving, but also give the car a standout, aggressive look. Behind these wheels are massive Brembro TM carbon ceramic brakes, which are optimized for heat rejection, leading to harder, more consistent stopping further into the braking zone. Rear brake heat is shed with the aid of cooling ducts mounted below the rear suspension. The sound emitted rivals the mighty roar of the jungle's king, the Mustang GTD's titanium exhaust system. It's not just about performance, it's about delivering a deep, throaty roar that will turn heads wherever you go. It's a symphony of power and precision, a sound that tells everyone that this is a car meant to be experienced, music to the ears. Taking a peek into the interior, by eliminating the rear seats, it opens up that area for cargo storage as the conventional trunk space is quite limited and made even more challenging to access due to the presence of the rear wing. The back area is primarily occupied by the transaxle, the substantial titanium variable restricted muffler, the active rear suspension, and notably the cooling radiator for the transaxle. The latter functions by drawing in air descending from the rear window, channeling it through scoops and then directing it through the radiator before venting it out through the panel situated between the tail lamps. Though it'll look every bit the race car on the outside, the GTD's cabin will have some streetcar touches. Suede, leather, and carbon fiber are the main ingredients of the Ford Mustang GTD's interior dish. It sports Recaro bucket front seats, but sacrifices rear cushions for weight reduction and a bit of cargo space. The paddle shifters are 3D printed from titanium, the same for the rotary dial gear selector and serial placard. And Ford says the material sourced from these components was cut from a retired Lockheed Martin F-22 fighter jet. There are multiple interior color and equipment options, which will vary greatly between customers. The car can be ordered in any color, even color matched to a customer-provided sample. Taking into account the beast's fuel economy, the Ford Mustang GTD makes no secret of its primary focus, conquering racetracks with blazing lap times. And it wastes no time in declaring its intentions through the thunderous roar of its potent supercharged V8 engine. While the official EPA estimates for this exclusive road-legal race car have yet to be unveiled, it's safe to anticipate that its fuel economy will likely mirror, if not exceed, the figures reported from the previous iteration, the 760-horsepower Shelby GT500. These two vehicles share a similar, though the GTD posts a more powerful, powertrain. In the case of the Shelby GT500, EPA estimates indicate a fuel consumption rate of 12 miles per gallon in the city and 18 miles per gallon on the highway. It voraciously devoured gasoline, as these figures attest, emphasizing its performance-oriented nature. As a result, it's reasonable to expect that the Ford Mustang GTD will follow in its predecessor's tire tracks, emphasizing raw power and speed over fuel efficiency. After all, with a supercharged V8 under the hood and a mission to conquer racetracks, this limited production race car is engineered to quench the thirst for horsepower and adrenaline rather than prioritizing conservation at the pump.
Car enthusiasts from every corner of the world are on the edge of their seats, eagerly yearning for more details and the opportunity to lay their hands on one of these extraordinary vehicles. As I hinted earlier though, securing a spot in the driver's seat of this magnificent beast is not going to be a walk in the park. Ford has devised a strategy to ensure that the most dedicated and loyal customers receive priority access to the 2025 Mustang. In a commendable move to keep the car flippers away, the company is making a concerted effort to keep these vehicles within the hands of those who truly appreciate and cherish the Mustang legacy. This dedication to the brand's devoted followers is a testament to Ford's commitment to delivering an exceptional ownership experience. Price-wise, I can't see you getting your hands on one for less than $300,000. It's not an exaggeration to say that the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD stands in a class of its own, embodying a fusion of power, design, and performance that has never been witnessed in the Mustang lineage. As the automotive world holds its breath in anticipation, the countdown to the official release of this modern marvel continues, and it promises to redefine what's possible for a performance vehicle in the 21st century. As the global director of Ford Performance Motorsports, Mark Rushbrook says, we obsessed about the racing technology under its skin. What makes it go is even more compelling than what you see when it passes you by. When you look at the engineering, the aerodynamics, and how the powertrain works, the Mustang GTD is a rocket ship for the road. Now, full disclosure, as I make this video, I haven't driven one. But if you get your hands on one, please put your review in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're interested in continuing the Mustang discussion, check out this video right here on the 60-year history of Mustang, generation by generation, as well as history videos on the key players in the world of Mustang that you can watch right here, right now. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be up to speed on all my video releases. And hit the bell icon so you'll be sure to be alerted. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.